friends. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Hope you got breakfast in bed if you're a mother. I didn't. I don't remember what I ate for breakfast. But, as you know, my family got me a washing machine for Mother's Day, which I need desperately. And then this morning they came trooping in with their arms full of <laughs> decorative grasses. So I got decorative grasses for Mother Mother's Day too. And those are just like grass that you don't mow. You just let it grow big and tall. And some of it is green, dark green. And then there's some that's kind of variegated. So it's kind of yellow and green. They're cool. I'll um, try to show you some pictures right now. I'm actually going to edit this, I think. I was going to do like a one take, but I think I'm actually going to edit it. So I'll probably do this in a couple of takes and do some pictures and stuff like that. Um, big news, I lost a pound this week. I know, I'm so excited. Um, so that's good. So I only need to lose like 70 more. <laughs> Just kidding, it's probably like 75. But anyway, uh, that's good. And I don't even want to tell you, but I will. I signed up with Beachbody. I know. <laughs> no, I'm excited about it. It's going to be good. It's a whole lifestyle thing. They just tell you how to live and what to eat and when to eat it. And they have some magic powder that you put in the um, smoothies and stuff. And I don't know much about it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And I think it will be a good thing. And I kind of wish I would have signed up five years ago when I was first introduced to it because I would have been all skinny now, <laughs> skinny and rich. So that would have been good, but it's okay because like Gaza said this morning, what? I can't remember what he said. <laughs> he said something about how the, you take the opportunities if you're ready for them or something like that. I don't know. And five years ago, I wasn't ready for that. So it's okay. I'll be ready now. So if I bug you about stuff, just humor me, just humor me. Yeah, that'll be good. Anyway, cause I'm going to make like some little groups and we'll hang out and it'll be fun and we'll discuss healthy living and anyway, that'll be great. So, and my little sister Lainey, I, she, you know, she had her arm surgery and stuff and her kitchen is out of order cause they're remodeling. So she lost a whole bunch of weight. And I told the sisters, whichever one gets to this certain weight first gets $10 from me. I was going to say 20 originally, but I got cheap all of a sudden and just said 10. So I owe Lainey 10 bucks because she got to this weight, but she said, I don't have to pay her until let's see. If she can keep the weight off, I don't remember, for like a week after she gets her kitchen back or something like that. Anyway, she'll be fine. I know she will, but so that's good. And I also have a little song I want to sing to you, but it is too hot in this car. So um, I'm probably going to go get dinner started and uh, change my clothes and then I'll be back to sing you a song. It's a fun one. It's, it'll be cute. Okay, see ya. Okay, bye. Couldn't be more comfortable. Yeah, got my baggy t-shirt and my um, shorts on. Okay, the kids are in there working and cleaning and trying to make dinner. It's so sweet. And John hurt his back, his uh, lower back, and he's got some sciatica pain down his legs. So I told him he needs to go to the reflexologist, and he didn't believe me. And I don't really even believe myself. <laughs> I think that's like half hocus pocus, half good. But I have had a reflexologist help me in the past. But mostly just, she just told me I was depressed. So that was, <laughs> and then that's helpful too. But anyway, so I don't know if he needs to do that or like, I don't know. One time I went swimming and it kind of like jiggled stuff into place. So maybe we'll have to go swimming. I don't know, but I know he's in pain. I was, I had sciatica pain when I was pregnant and it was horrible. I could barely walk and his dad has suffered with it in the past. So poor little Johnny, I don't know what to do for him. But anyway, he can't even bend over. He can't even, uh, life is hard. Okay. So that's that. And, uh, let's see, cake balls. <laughs> we got cake balls for, uh, Mother's Day from the ward at church. It's basically what you do is you take cake and you mix it with frosting and then you mold it into a little ball and these, and then put a stick in it. And these ones were dipped in caramel and then chocolate and they had carrot cake ones and they had German chocolate cake ones. And then they were dipped in coconut too. So they were super tasty. So <laughs> the piano, Chorister and I were back there eating ours. I'm behind the piano. And then she's over behind the music stand eating hers too. So they didn't make it home. But even Clarin got some. She said that they um, they convinced the people who were handing them out that they were mothers in training. So they needed some cake balls on a stick. Anyway, so that was really fun and tasty. And maybe I'll make some someday. That'd be cool for a vlog. I've never actually 
you know, made them in real life, but I took a little church relief society class on how to make them. So I kind of have a good idea how to do it anyway. So, okay. So today I was looking at some mother's day music for the primary children because we, um, they sang today and I noticed this one little song. It said it's a German folk song. And so I asked Woggy if he knew it. And how do you do that exactly? You have to like send a clip, like, do you know the song? So that's what I did. So I'll insert the clip now. Did you like that? <laughs> okay, so that was um, me playing it with the kids in the background. I should have warned you. And it's all black because I didn't turn the camera around for it. But anyway, so this is the English version of it. It's called When We're Helping. And um, I know the words. I shouldn't have to look at them. I've been singing it since I was three years old. But <sighs> okay. When we're helping, we're happy. And we sing as we go. For we love to help mother, for we all love her so. Then for some reason they didn't think of any words for the second verse. <laughs> so the second verse goes, tra la 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 tra la 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 I think that's right. Yeah. tra la 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 tra la 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 And here on this pink paper I've written down the words that Woggy said. And it's so cute and it's very Mother's Day appropriate too. So I'll try to sing this, and I had to kind of adjust it for meter, and it, it won't rhyme because it's a translation, so. Anyway, but this is a cool song, okay. A bird comes a-flying, sets itself on my foot, has a note in the beak, and greetings from mother. Dear birdie, fly on, take greetings and a kiss. I cannot come with you, I have to stay here. Oh, sweet. <laughs> anyway, happy Mother's Day, you guys, and have a great week, and let me know how you're doing. I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.